Serious, what was something you saw you were definitely not supposed to see? I found a letter between my parents back when my dad was in the army 10 years before I was born, when cleaning out the house. He was saying how they should get a divorce because it just wasn't seeming to work out. When I was 16 they did end up getting a divorce, I've never talked to them about it. My severance check. Apparently someone at the payroll company addressed it to me instead of HR, opened it at my desk and laughed, packed up my crap and left. So those reports you wanted at the end of the day, yeah I decided I didn't want to do them. Also thanks for the severance check. Leaving work late one evening, I saw the HR director and CFO in a dark office shredding papers. No, that's not an euphemism. I didn't say anything but quietly walked on down the hall. Two weeks later we were raided by the SEC and several people were charged with cooking the books. Back in 1997, I started work at a new job and took over the office of a salesman who had recently been fired. I was in IT, using the same computer that had been set up for sales. My first task was to install all the software I'd need. The computer hard drive was almost full, so I poked around and found a ton of folders filled with P. Went to my supervisor, and he said to delete it, warning me that the salesman had been fired for downloading P. Over the next few weeks, I kept finding secret P folders onto the company's network. Not only had he downloaded enough P to max out his computer's HD, he had the network at about 90% capacity. When I was done deleting all the folders I could find, the server capacity was less than 50%. Dude was seriously addicted to P. Worked for a downtown metropolitan hotel for a long time, and I've seen a lot I wasn't supposed to see. Probably the worst was a kid with an old man. Check this guy in at like 1 in the morning, not uncommon because people travel at different times, but he was alone. Like an hour later he asked for something like a towel or blanket. Anyways, dispatched our runner to deliver it. After the runner comes to me and says he thinks something is wrong because he caught a glimpse of someone and the old guy was trying hard to block the entrance. Being that we were supposed to take stuff like human trafficking seriously, I asked our maintenance to cut his power so we would get a call to come up to try and fix the problem. He doesn't I go up with him to apologize for the inconvenience because the guy was also a Tortea member. Sure enough we hear a kid in the bathroom hiding. Tried to ask who the kid was and the old guy tried everything to shut us down from throwing his status around to bribing. I called the cops and let them deal with it. Just two days ago, at a community pool, a teenage couple who entered into the pool area went into the hot tub. Stood up to stretch my legs and looked over to, well, sex in the hot tub. It was midday. I cringed pretty hard. But I laughed even harder when the neighborhood cop showed up. Hot tub sex is a bad idea. That water is filled with chemicals and no good for the vagina. I once arrived early to pick up a girl for a first date. She was renting a small garden apartment behind a bigger house. It was just after dusk and I walked around the corner. The sliding door was standing open and she was inside walking around. Brushing her hair, wearing only her underwear. She did not see me, so I just walked back around that corner and waited another 10 minutes. When I walked round again she had a dress on. I never told her. When I was about 16, I was snooping in my parents wardrobe. Found a diary written by my mother when she was 14, from the year 1970. Read some beautiful and brilliantly written entries about meeting and dating my dad, who was 16 at the time. Had to read a little between the lines in some slightly later entries as they were written with such flowery language. In one such entry, all of a sudden she discloses that she's had an abortion, performed by my grandfather, an anesthesiologist. She never told anyone. I was in elementary school playing basketball. I shot the ball but it ended up going over the fence on the other side was someone's backyard. My teacher requested that after school I knock on the door of the house where the ball had landed to get it back and so I did. I did not expect a woman wrapped in a towel with one of her nipples revealed to answer the door. I was shocked but carried on with my mission. For those wondering, she stated she did not have the ball. David Copperfield show, I was at an angle that allowed me to see the volunteers running out from the stage during a disappearing act. I found a suitcase full of adult toys under my mom's bed when I was 8. I was downloading a game on my uncle's computer, 
so I was looking for the files to complete the setup and I clicked on a file called games. A few videos popped up so the curious girl that I am I clicked on one and there was it, a Chinese girl literally fricking her couch. That was my first pee experience, I was 7 and my sister was 5. And it doesn't stop there, we decided to show our mom, I'll never forget the trauma on her face. My mom gave me an old laptop of hers when I was about 13 and I was scrolling through random pics she had left on it of my little brother's football games and then boom, nudes of my mother. Back when I was a teenager, we hosted a New Zealander at our house for a couple weeks. Guy gets to our place after the flight, and about 10 minutes later I'm walking around my house to see where he's at. The door to his room is partially open, and the dude is laying face down on the bed and humping the ever-loving frick out of a pillow. I backed away slowly like Homer when he saw Appa cheating on his wife. I felt bad for the pillow. As a New Zealander, I apologize to you and the pillow. What the actual frick? Years ago a colleague had an old smartphone that he brought in to give to another co-worker as theirs broke. The phone was sitting on the new owner's desk but she hadn't yet tried it out, as it was still charging after months of not being used. We were talking about how cool it was with the co-worker, smartphones were not widespread yet, and I picked it up to see how it felt in my hand. I pressed a button and the first thing that I saw was a google search for lump on anus. I quickly put the phone back down. This must have been the last thing he searched for when he last used it a long time ago, and forgot about it. When I was 11 I walked into my mum's bedroom and saw my mum and her husband doing a 69. We never spoke about it. Years later when I was 24 she walked into my bedroom and saw my BF naked with a boner. We never spoke about that either. Borrowed my dad's camera. Found out he was gay. I love the simplicity of this comment. My dad's AA chips. Learned it's why my parents got divorced. Proud of him for being in recovery though. Me and a friend snuck away from a house party at 2am once. We wanted to go to this local abbey. We were exploring the grounds and generally having a nice time when we see two cars stop nearby. Instinctively we hid in some bushes and witnessed what was clearly a large drug trade. We definitely were not supposed to see that. We waited for them to finish their business and then we headed back to the party. I found invitations to my big surprise 18th birthday just lying on the floor a few weeks before the event. I had to act surprised when the time came to walk through the door to the party, which I did. The only thing is, my twin brother also knew, which I didn't know at the time, and let's just say his acting skills are really bad. So we both found out in different ways about the surprise party but neither of us knew that we found out about it. So when I walked through the door for the surprise, I could tell from his reaction that he knew. I like how you're so confident that you sold it but could immediately tell that your brother was faking it. I bet he has a similar story about knowing you were faking lol twin powers. As a kid I saw the scene from Poltergeist where the clown pulls the kid under the bed. My entire bedroom was filled with clown pictures and toys. I was upset. Happened to a friend of mine. She was dating this dude forever. They broke up and he moved out. She was devastated. About a month later she was cleaning out old stuff and found a receipt for a ring that he had bought for her and never given her. That's how she found out that he had once intended to propose, before he fell out of love with her. She was hurt pretty bad about that. That happened to me. I can tell you it isn't a lot of fun for the guy either. The day I returned that ring was not great. Back in the day, I would try to download anime episodes and clips off of P2P services. This was either days of Kaza, before people widely recognized that P2P programs were hives of illegal P, and I'm one of the kids who was introduced to all sorts of disturbing stuff this way. The worst, though, was a small clip of a crying girl, late teens, 20 at the most. It was only about 10 seconds long, but at about the 6 second mark, about the time I was sighing and saying ugh, of course this isn't Goku, someone shot her in the head. I hadn't even noticed the gun at her temple until her skull was shred to pieces. Every once in a while, I remember that, and it makes me wonder who she was, who mourned her, and what sort of sick person films that. <laughs> Happened when I was 7. I found the Tom and Jerry DVD I had lost, in the back of a drawer, in celebration. I decided to watch it again, by the time my mother walked into the living room and saw me watching a threesome, I was already scarred for life. She took away the entire DVD collection.
My father-in-law sent a dong pic to my wife on accident. Yes his own daughter. Luckily, I picked up a phone first and saw it. I was so confused at first and then realized what happened and started dying laughing. It was his shaft and there was an old spice deodorant stick hiding the head of his penis and the caption read. Is this what you want? As soon as I laughed, she came over and the phone rang. It was her dad calling. I threw it at her because there was no way in heck I could answer it and not be cackling. Poor guy was crying and apologizing and she said she had no idea what was going on but would delete the picture before even looking at it. She got off the phone, deleted the pic and then was mortified when I told her. It's my favorite family story. She wouldn't let me get him an old spice deodorant stick for Christmas. One time when I was around 9 years old, I woke up to take a leak in the middle of the night. I saw that the TV was still on in my parents room through the tiny opening in their bedroom door. My bathroom's near my parents room. I went to check up on them, and when I opened the door, my god I can never erase what I saw. I saw my mom on the edge of the bed and my dad eating her out with all his might. I literally said, mama and they didn't even hear me because they were so into it, so I just ran quickly back to my room. I remember the next morning, during breakfast, I asked my mom if there's any more juice left and she said, there's no more, your dad has the last cup of juice, and then my dad said, you can drink the rest of it if you want, he offered his cup of juice to me and I looked at the rim of the cup and already felt sick to my stomach, I'm 20 now and I still can't believe I remember seeing that. I'm sorry for your mental scars, but this has me freaking rolling, it sounds like something straight out of a raunchy comedy. A guy taking a crap under a bridge. What really freaked me out is that he probably walked around the rest of the day smelling vaguely of crap. I still think about it sometimes. My supervisor plowing an operator in the ass in the work showers. He just looked at me, then looked back at the dude's head and started going for broke. I left. None of us ever acted like it happened. I've worked in construction and never met an attractive operator or supervisor on a construction site. So I'm just imagining a couple of leathery old men going at it. I hate you for this. Millions being deleted from the accounting software and books being reprinted without those money so that the company wouldn't get a fine for tax evasion. Or go bankrupt I guess. I was the one in charge of doing it and I couldn't tell anyone what I was working on for 2 weeks. I was young and I didn't know better. Frick those guys. Walked in on my ex-girlfriend's sister butt naked. Bending over, with her butthole in full display. The salaries of everyone working at the company I was working at, it was a smaller, startup digital ad agency with about 60 employees total, and someone from HR was making copies of a document that listed everyone's salary, and left the original on the glass of the copier. I found it, and turned it back in, but not before I went through that list to see what everyone else made, and discovered that a couple new hires working the same position as me were making more than me. So after turning it in, I met with my manager and used my newfound knowledge to my advantage to successfully negotiate for a raise, along with a tacit promise that I wouldn't divulge what I knew to anyone else in the company. Happened to me one. I was bored, so was browsing through the network shares on a PC we used to store machine recipes. Found a spreadsheet with everyone's pay details, overtime etc. So I emailed the IT guy and told him it probably should be at least passworded, and for my trouble I was threatened with being fired for hacking. Nice. I saw my mom giving my dad a BJ but it was on a video on his phone. Mayo I remember seeing a picture of my parents doing the same thing. That's how I learned not to go through people's phones. A few years ago a girl asked to charge her phone off my laptop. For some reason she granted the laptop file access and whatever the macOS iPhone import is called downloaded every single picture. Been 6 years since I used a Mac. This downloaded 400 pictures onto my hard drive without me learning about it until a week later or so. Many of them were sexually explicit snapchats, mostly from guys. So I deleted everything and reformatted the hard drive to be safe. It was all unwanted, and the last thing I needed at 16 was to be harboring a bunch of nudes of my classmates. Congratulations, you have been visited by the Danny DeVito Dorito. Comment your dream and it will come true. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video, or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.